Traces of panic pushes of fear in Port Harcourt City were first noticed on the eve of the last day of June. By July the 1st, many of the Philly stations had suspended dispensing the product. But the Ipman president says there should be no need for such or panic pushes of the product as it is only what he referred to as market fundamentals that would determine any such development. Remember, this is not a region where somebody will fix his own price. No, you can be selling 100 or two or 300. The other person might be, it's just the market where you think you want to get it. It is not going to be maybe 700 or this and the fundamental, market fundamental will be the determinant. According to Okurunkwo, the best approach to the removal of fear subsidy is the bringing of compressed natural gas into the nation's energy mix. He speaks on some of the likely gains of CNG to Nigerians. We believe this is a platform that will help this country to transit at least 70 or 80 percent of its energy source to gas. Meanwhile, President Petroleum Product Retail Outlets Owners Association of Nigeria is speaking against the unilateral speculation of the pump price of fear. Every figure that will come out as price of one liter of petrol at a retail outlet will be analyzed efficiently. We call for strong regulation within the uh, associations. All associations should put standards that should give effective regulation that should be useful to the NMDPRO, that is our regulator. Expectedly, the rumored increase in fair pop price is eliciting condemnations. I appreciate the fact that 400 billion has been saved. What's the blueprint for the 400 billion? Will it end up as money in the hands of politicians? Will it end up as, uh, is it 114% for political office holder? Where will the money be channeled to? That's what we ask. That's a perspective to it. If 400 billion naira is there in the kitty, what are they doing? It should have told Nigerians what they are now doing with that 400 billion naira. In terms of enhancing and pushing the effort of transportation, uh, high rise of food costs in this nation now, and so many other things. Already, the Ipman leadership says members are firming up plans to co-locate filling stations for the use of CNG from Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, and the Omano, Omano, Arise News.